Okay, hello. Um, my name is uh, Christian Alfoni. I'm a web developer. And from this year, I went freelance. Well, I'm actually uh, part-time at my previous employer, which was consultancy. But I'm moving into freelance. So from March, I will be doing full-time freelance. And the reason I chose to do that is basically because I want to do more open source work. Uh, but also, I need to have some more time with family like trying to find that work-life balance. So with my experience and my work through open source, uh, that has actually opened up as an opportunity for me. So I have to try it. Um, so my goal is basically to work more on open source and try to choose projects that I think makes a difference, not only in programming, but overall. Um, and like, how did I get to this point? Um, when I started programming like nine years ago, uh, I didn't learn this stuff from, from school. Um, I'm like a self-taught developer, which I think is a really strange term. It's like I just came up with it because I didn't. I had to learn it like everyone else. I just didn't learn it at school. I learned it through Googling, playing around with projects, and I was lucky. I got some opportunities to actually build something real, uh, which was extremely ambitious. Um, and But at that time in my life, I had all the time in the world, and I, and I was super motivated to learn this stuff. Um, so that just drove me through like a couple of years of constantly coding and it was a ton of fun and I learned a lot um, so over the years I I got more confidence in what I was doing and I started writing some articles and that is a great way to get into open source because you need some confidence in sharing your ideas uh, like it's not natural for people I think to have ideas and think they everybody will agree with them with them some people do maybe, but at least I didn't. Um, so getting feedback on my articles was a really great way for me to build confidence to actually share some code as well. So I started working on a project for state management, which actually is still is still around called Cerebral. And it was more of an experiment really to figure out how I best could uh, express complexity and manage state in an application. Um, and But I've also done tons of other stuff, like created a React Forms library called Formc React. I built a project called Markcy, which is actually the most downloaded project I have, uh, which is a markdown to virtual DOM converter. And like this sounds really fancy, but it really isn't. It's just hacking around, playing around with code. Uh, I also tried to build some services, like a project called Webpack Bin. Uh, which is now uh, deprecated because I'm rather contributing to a project called Code Sandbox. Also tried to create a blogging service called JS Blog, which was really cool. It's just, I don't have the marketing power, like the experience of doing marketing. Um, but I'm working on a new project now, which will be released by the end of January, where I spend some time doing marketing. So hopefully I learn something from that and that won't be like... A, a blocking thing for getting the ideas out there because it's not only about having a good idea you have to do the marketing as well um so basically the reason i brought the like created this account is that it's it's really nice to like i try to find as much time as possible to to do open source and it's really nice to just get a little bit of donation so that like the coffee I drink and the food I eat during that time is not something I pay out of my own pocket. It's like a symbolic thing. Um, so yeah, I would really appreciate if you would buy me a cup of coffee um, and I'll do my best to do as much open source work as possible. Thank you.